The project to relocate the railroad tracks in Del Mar, including building a tunnel, is moving forward, albeit pretty slowly. Our Zara Barker uh, did some digging through an extensive proposal, and she joins us live from Del Mar to break it all down. Zara. Kathleen, for the very first time today, inside of this Sandag report just released, we are getting a glimpse at what it could look like when these tracks right here behind me at the Del Mar Bluffs will eventually be moved inland. It's something that we have been hearing about and looking forward to for years, but this report just gets us a little step closer. Relocating these railroad tracks along the Del Mar Bluffs is one step closer to a reality. There's been a lot of discussion around a tunnel in Del Mar, but really what that tunnel is about is a larger project. It's the whole rail corridor from downtown San Diego that goes up the coast all the way to San Luis Obispo. Sandag released a report that shows several ideas to move the existing tracks further inland, plus creating a double track with speeds up to 110 miles per hour. The kind of high speed transit that's provided on the East Coast. Fundamentally, it's it's uh, San Diego catching up with the 21st century. Geologist Pat Abbott says moving the tracks is a necessity. You'll recall bluff erosion and the threat of sea levels rising have been a constant issue, even resulting in several closures over the last year for the track responsible for moving nearly 8 million passengers and $1 billion in goods every year. It's the most logical thing to do when you consider all the options. The best option would be running the those tracks through tunnels through relatively solid rock tens of feet below ground then we get down to the specifics of just where sandag says two plans are the front runners this plan aligns with crest canyon the purple shows where a 33 foot diameter tunnel would be 290 feet below the ground here's a look at the camino del mar plan showing a similar tunnel in purple both plans would include passing under private property between jimmy durante boulevard and carmel valley road there are definitely residents who are concerned about what this might mean to their property. Sandag Deputy CEO Colleen Clemenson says they've received mixed reviews from the community so far. This project has to happen. So we will determine where the best possible place is that minimizes the impacts to the community. A project like this comes with a three to four billion dollar price tag. Sandag says they plan to use federal, state and local funds. Okay, so let's talk about the timing of this because obviously it is a huge project here in Del Mar. Now they're saying that construction on this is going to take seven years alone. They're hoping to have a finalized plan by 2026 and then eventually reopening these tracks further inland by the year 2035. Lots to look forward to. Reporting live in Del Mar, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.